Banana crew back together. Corey's best friend ends up hanging out with Molly. Chris Sells collaborates with Leslie. And Chris Sells is upset after this. So let's get straight into the drama. Now guys, recently I have had the CC and I will talk about that at the end of the video. Guys, so there's a lot of drama to talk about. Let's just get into it, okay? So let's talk about Airy getting with the Banana Crew. I didn't even know they called them the Banana Crew. Why are they call them? I think I have to call them the Big Dogs. You don't say. I think we might have to pull up. I know. I didn't have. I didn't want it to come to this. No, I think you had the wrong number. But no, it looks like Ari wants to get them back together on a weekend basis or something like that. Oh my and I think it's a really good idea. I think it's a smart foot in the door for Ari. I think she's getting a couple views for yeah. it. And I think she should continue doing it. You know, you got Trey Bills. He's doing really well anymore. Like, he don't even scam anymore. Oh, my God. And you got that skinny guy. He scammed those twins. Ah, uh -huh. no. Security. I forgot the name. The Wicked Twins. Remember that story? Y'all probably like, what? What you gonna do, huh? I'm calling the police on you. What you gonna do about it? I'm gonna keep doing it. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Yeah, nothing. Shut the up. Good night, bitch. Look like Harry looked like she went and surprised him. He looked confused as hell. Oh my god, it's killing. Huh? Bitch, what? Uh, you're meant to act really surprised. That's what my mom said. What a big surprise. <laughs> Oh my god, Ari, you're at my door naked. I honestly think it would be a smart idea if they did like a whole YouTube house again. You feel me? I know a lot of y'all. No, that's a bad idea. I think it would be a good idea. Even put some new faces in that crib and make some more content. Shit, bring Janae back. What? What? <laughs> They'll be like fake stories. Uh, nah, I'm just playing. I think you'll be good. What do you guys think? Do you think it's way too old? They shouldn't do that anymore? Or do you think they should start over again? I definitely think they should start over again and build up again and build their empire. Like, why not? But I guess there's always going to be some weird drama because that guy, right? The small Gilly, there was like some drama with that. Like, I remember we had the recording on my channel he's so pressed about his stuff but he wasn't pressed when he was doing the videos i never mentioned it and then he said nobody was in contact with him but he yeah. just got unfollowed three days ago that don't make sense could have messaged somebody or made a tweet like everybody else on it like, we wanted to get my stuff that's okay. it yeah so, like, so it's not like it's, like, it's not like you just pulled up the, over there without her knowing, knowing that she's coming over there. She told you to, to get your stuff, yes, right? Yes, I, stuff. she told me to pull up to the house. To get your stuff, right? Yes. So About him going back to get him stuff from the the house that they were living in, and apparently they throw his things out. <gasps> There's a lot of drama with that, man. I'm surprised he was even able to put that to the side. Because me, bitch, I hold grudges. You throw my shit out, we're gonna be enemies forever. But hey, good on him to put everything on the side and everything, you know, think about business and do some contests. Hopefully they're more mature now and they won't have all these stupid petty drama and they can actually create some really good content for you guys. Now shout out to one of my guys on Instagram for sending this to me. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much because I would have not seen this if you sent it to me. Molly is hanging out with Corey's best friend, bro. What, what the hell? This is just so funny to me, guys. I had to insert this in bro. this video because I found out after recording, by the way. But when I saw this, I was like, wow, this is gonna cause a lot of drama, I guess. Maybe they're not friends anymore. I don't know. But how would you feel if your best friend was hanging out with someone that exposed you for cheating and says stuff about your wife and say stupid shit and always bring up drama so i just want to know how Corey gonna feel about this because bro this is messy as hell he does look crunk it could be a situation when his friends is hanging out with one of her friends and she just happens to be there you know what i mean and then take a photo or could it be a situation where <laughs> he is exclusively hanging out with her? That's weird. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. But regardless, it's messy and he should be nowhere in photos with her if he is friends with Corey and his loyalty lies yeah, with don't him. Do that. But hey, it's messy as hell, guys. Yeah. This is what I need to say to you. Bruh. He looks so beautiful. I want oh, have no, security! Alright. No. Oh, 
Now let's go into Chris Sells and Leslie Man. So it wasn't long ago, right, when Armin Milk and Trey made a song video with Queen Nija and their partners in their video, yeah. right? Well, Trey and I believe his ex-girlfriend. I forgot her name, Xena, the girl that likes to scam and promote scams and stuff. Basically, there is people that love tagging Chris consistently. Consistently in Queen Niger's stuff and love to try to rub it in Chris Sell's face and be like Well, you missed out on this. How you like it? Oh my god, you're not in this video blah 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 They just love rubbing it in Chris's face now. Yeah. I'm not one of those people for some reason there is some Writers in the comments that think I'm like that. Bruh. I've never tagged Chris and shit and be like, how do you feel? I probably made one joke about it ages ago, but after that I don't consistently rub it in like there's a lot of Writers in these comments, I see some of y'all in the T pages, and y'all don't like me. You will never say the fucking shit here in this comment. And I, oh, it's because you get your ass dragged. Good night, bitch. And they're trying to compare me to the fans that were tagging Chris, annoying him with the almond milk tray thing and all that. Uh -huh. No, security. Anyway, Chris ended up responding, and he said this. I wish everybody would leave me alone and stop mentioning my name when it comes to sending in the. Let them be great and let me be great. I'm sure they don't like seeing that either. I'm at peace in my life and I've been focusing on myself. I've been staying out of drama and I want to keep it that way. I know you guys probably are still going to make fun of me and say evil things, but just be mindful of other people's mental states and feelings. Try to spread love instead of hate. Love. In my name, out of all that boy, I am. Um I'm not like this. I don't associate with niggas. I stay to myself. I stay out of drama. I don't leave me out of that. Okay. To myself, I stay in my house. I don't go outside. I don't want to be bothered by humans. I don't. Uh, and I oh, leave me alone. I'm not. I'm not bullying you. Stop bullying me. Don't do that. Y'all can have this internet. Leave me alone. I'm tired. Fed up. I don't got no more energy. Leave me the f alone. Okay. I agree with him. I don't know about bullying. I think bullying is like when these little kids go in your DMs and threaten you and intimidate you. That's what bullying is. Yeah. I didn't see that in any of the comments. Anyway, Chris is so funny because as soon as that happened, he trolled them so hard by end up collaborating with Leslie on TikTok. And they're gonna have a video soon coming as well. And I just, I found that it's so funny. I think it was so smart because now the fans are saying that he's thirsty, he's this. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. The only time I think it was wrong of him to take the trolley to the next level is when he was in that accident and he was like, Pray for me, I'm in an accident. Try to make everyone like be scared for him and the whole time he wasn't in an accident. And then there was this only fans account that opened up and people were putting money towards it to see a video. So I don't know if that was the whole scam that he came up with, but he ended up having like, what, three accidents after that? You stupid. But now that was stupid ass controlling. But this, this is brilliant. I think this is a good idea. You rub it in those little snotty ass queen fans faces so they can shut up. They're not going to shut up. They're going to drag you and they're going to bring more views to your channel and stuff like that. And I think it was brilliant. And I think they kept it really classy. They didn't bring up clearance. They didn't bring up queen. I think clearance made the assumption that they're not over them or something like that. And that's why they collaborated. You feel me? So this is like a whole, this is to them, this is like love and hip hop. This is giving real, I haven't moved on. You're wrong. Leslie, which is Clarence's ex-girlfriend. Now you guys know back I don't have in the exes. past when they were all doing that back. It wasn't that funny. Back and forth thing about the book. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't Clarence have exes. <laughs> Me too. I only had one, one ex. I don't know. I've been hearing rumors that I have other girl, or like other exes. I've only them. had one ex. Feel me? Me you too. Feel me? Her name was Leslie. You heard? Leslie. Her. That was my only ex. So let's go. Everything else needs to just. Bro, niggas gotta stop attaching girls to me, bro. Bro, I'm bro. I'm like her four fifth ex. <laughs> like, why don't y'all make the video and say like this? X trouble after like you know what I mean like this
the ex link with. You know what I'm saying? Why y'all using my shit? Which I think that shit is just stupid. I think they're just doing it to get some views and to get a bag. And there's nothing wrong with that. If you're gonna annoy the out of Chris and tag him and shit, I don't see why there's no problem for him to annoy the F out of you. Because now you little fans are pressed. You're very, very pressed that Chris is in a video with Leslie or collabing with Leslie. Yeah. And you think that this, yeah, think that that. And I think they don't give a Period. I think they're laughing to the bank. Poor Zoe's probably crying in the back room somewhere, jealous as hell. Yeah. I don't understand why Chris won't collab with Zoe, but I think it comes down to being insecure with his sexuality and probably caring way too much what other people think if he was to collab with Zoe. I'm just saying, because Zoe's been wanting to collab with Chris for the longest and he hasn't done it. But damn, I thought it was a brilliant idea, you know? All that, all they need to do now is team up with Ari, uh, Gil Try and start a little YouTube house and start making money. Man, can you imagine if all of them were in the house together? You think it would be good content or nah? I'm just saying, Aries doing this big thing, they're doing thing. I think if they were to team up and make some content together, I think it will blow up and it would do really, really well. But hey, that's just my thoughts.